Hey everyone, it's Lori from Scraps by Sissy. Happy Tuesday, and I'm facing the right way. <laughs> Last week was kind of a shocker, wasn't it? Oh, the things we do to do to go with live. Oh, so um, I'm trying to find you on my laptop like usual. Um, if you're here, go ahead and say hello. I may not speak to you right away, but that's only because I'm trying to see what the heck I'm doing. Shh. Go lay down, Chloe. Um, yeah. So today we're playing with a Rockstar Trio. We're playing with the Rockstar Bundle. Enjoy the Rhythm stamp set. This is in the annual catalog. This bundle is brand new in the mini catalog. And we're also playing with some pieces from the, what is this called, Rock Legend Kit. This is an all-inclusive kit. There's no stamping in this kit, so it'd be a really good idea to make the kit go further to get this bundle. And come on, if you're going to get that bundle, you might as well get the stamp set too, right? <laughs> you might as well have it all. So this card may, or this kit makes eight cards, and everything is already stamped for you. Um, just little labels to put on, but of course I had to go a little further than that. Comes with a full package of dimensionals, which we all love, and some mini glue dots. These cute little star embellishments, which I think we're going to use on one of the cards. And then these are the card bases, and of course I cut them all up because... Card kits tend to have thinner card bases. It's not as thick as our cardstock, so and those are the two styles. And they have these cute little envelopes in there and some vellum die pieces. <laughs> this kind of rem between this piece and let's see, this piece here, the two kind of reminded me of Eddie Van Halen's guitar. <laughs> Hi, Beth. I'm glad you joined me this morning. So, I'll show you the other pieces. And these are card tops and the little guitar picks with the sentiments on it. These little car uh, guitars, these kind of reminded me of a retro guitar, the color and everything, which is what I'm going to do with one of the cards that I'm creating. And then that shows you all of the printing that they do. They come in several languages. Um, I couldn't tell you what's what, but there you go. That's the contents of that kit. And, you know, being that I have a drummer that I'm married to, he's got his built-in groupie, um, the drumsticks are a favorite of mine. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> so let me set these aside, and I'll show you the scrapbook layout I did. All right, so here's the layout. This is of Larry and his former band. He just stopped playing with them. Um, this was taken at the Happy Valley Strawberry Festival. I think it was two years ago. Yeah, it was two years ago. And, uh, yeah, it's kind of hard to see, the, the especially this picture here. Let's see if I can, if you can see. But he's actually pointing at me with his drumstick. I'm such a groupie. Anyway, um, I used the dies from the the Rockstar bundle. I used the embellishment, the drumsticks from the Rock Legend kit. And then I stamped and colored this from the Rockstar bundle. Stamped that and used a two, no, one and a half inch circle punch, which is retired. A one and three quarter inch circle punch there. And three little pieces of the designer series paper. This pack is all done in black and white. And even if you aren't into music, rock stars, you could use the patterns for something else because they're not all indicative of music. So there's that. Um, let's see. And then this strip right here, this was a scrap of 12 by 12 basic white. And I just randomly stamped the drum set from 
the Enjoy the Rhythm stamp set to create my own designer series paper there. And then I die cut the designer series paper and a piece of real red. Here is my journaling tag. I like to tuck those in there. And this little piece of twine is from the 2224 in color twine set um, in Sweet Sorbet. And I will tell you, if you um, have ink pads and are low on cardstock in any of the 2224 in colors, get all of your necessities now, the consumables, the the uh, re-inkers, cardstock, twine, embellishments, because those are going to retire, and once they retire, the consumables go out fast. So, all of the measurements for today's layout will be in my blog post. I'll show you the birthday card I created. Oh, this was my uh, Casing Tuesday project from this morning, which started this whole ball rolling. There's the inside and, of course, the envelope. And I created a quick birthday card for Larry in January um, using the kit. And there's the inside. <laughs> he turned 65 this year. <laughs> he wasn't too happy about it. But I told him that's okay. It's a good thing that he turned 65. So the cards we're going to create today, here's one of them. Doesn't that have a really retro feel to it? There's the inside. And I am using one of the envelopes from the pack, but I put some designer series paper on the flap. And at first I was only going to do the one card because I have an appointment later this afternoon. But when I came in here this morning, I threw together this one, cutting up one of the card bases. And I'll have to add that to my blog post. So let's get started on creating this fun retro card. Let's see, whoops, that's the piece for our guitar for the second card. I'm using Pool Party, and it's cut at eight and a half by five and a half, and it's scored at four and a quarter. And then here's my piece for the envelope flap. We'll go ahead and get that done first, get it out of the way. I didn't create an envelope for the other card, primarily because I was in a hurry. <laughs> you know how that goes. All right, so let's lay this down right here and add our envelope. This little piece of designer series paper measures in at two and a quarter by six. And I knew my scissors weren't here. Hang on. I used them on Saturday at our team meeting when I was doing a, a mystery stamping project. And I was showing our ladies on Zoom. Okay, I got to put those scissors back. I think these need to be clean, kind of sticky. All right, so there's our envelope flap. All right, I mean, if you got the designer series paper, you might as well use it. So this is a card base from the kit that I cut down. This is the back side of the card. It's four by five and a quarter. This is also four by five and a quarter. But because it has this pattern, um, I trimmed it off at the score mark, and then I did an eighth of an inch on each side so that this pretty much stays center, and the same with this side here. All right, so let's go ahead and put this. This is that from the card kit and we're going to put this on an angle like that. We'll add this to the card front. And put it on our great for older rockers. I think that's all of us, Beth. <laughs> You know you're getting old when your favorite rock star from high school is now elevator music. Okay, so there's that. Did I put this? I did. I just added that with some vellum. I mean with the stamp and seal. So I'm going to add this just like so. And yes, you can see the um, stamp and seal through the vellum, but that's okay. We're going to cover that up with our guitar. And we'll add this guy with some dimensionals. 
this guitar kind of reminded me of the Jetsons. <laughs> Is that dating myself or what? <laughs> uh, love that cartoon. It amazes me that it's still on. Okay, so I should have. There we go. See how that just covers up that vellum line? All right, so we need to stamp and die cut. Oh, you know what I forgot? My machine. Hang on a second. I knew I needed that today. That's okay. Okay, hang on. I'm just going to use the mini stamp and cut and emboss machine, which is perfect for this because it's a small stamp. And I'm going to stamp that in Memento ink. Put that aside, and this is the one we want here. There we go. And I did re ink this. There we go. I think this image is supposed to look a little um, distressed too. So we're just going to stamp that right there. We'll clean him. Set this aside so we don't set our card in it. And then I have the die right here. I'll move all this over. Open up our machine. And remember, when you're using this machine, you want to make sure your plates make an E so that it's easier for the machine to grab that. I tend to forget that sometimes. Okay, it's a little wide, so let's just cut this. Set that aside for our other guitar. And then set our die on there like so and then whoops we'll put our other plate and kind of tuck that in here let's pull this out a little bit try not to move the die there we go and there's our little label we need this for right now. Set it aside. We'll put the die away so that we don't forget where we put it because we know how that is. It goes in here like so. And then I am going to add him to our card with dimensionals, but I'm going to put the dimensionals on either edge so that it'll straddle the arm to the guitar. I know there's a more technical term to that, but that's what I've got. Chucky and Charlie will watch this and Chuck will just kind of roll his eyes at me, I'm sure. Okay, we're going to add that here. Now we'll add some of the lightning bolt and stars um, embellishments in the pool party color. And we'll add one of the bolts. I'm going to put him up here. Let's do it this way. There. The card front is done. So for the inside, I have a three and three quarter by five to go on the back side of that card. And then this is a strip of that designer series paper, matches the cards in the kit. And it's cut at a half inch by three and three quarters. What did I put on the inside of this? Happy birthday. And that's from the Enjoy the Rhythm set. So, Chucky, if you're watching this, be surprised when you get this card. <laughs> okay. There you go. And here's the lid. Ugh. We'll glue this together. Oops, dropped our piece. And I'll just add a little bit of adhesive to this. And it's going to go right at the bottom. Like so. Okay. See how quick and easy this card goes together? Piece of fuzz. Oh, well, you'll never see it. And then add that to 
the card base. You're not wasting any of that card base. I love the colors in this. Okay. And there we go. First card is done, including the envelope. How about that? Isn't that a cute kit? The minute it came out, I think it came out in January. I had to get it, of course. All right, so let's make the next card. And like I said, I threw this together as, as I was coming outside. I thought, let's cut up that yellow card and see what we can come up with. So I have a basic gray card base, eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter. Fold that in half. And then basically what I did was I took the yellow card base from the kit and I cut it up into one inch strips strips by four inches to add. And I think we did something similar to this in our Casing Tuesday last week or the week before, something like that. And I am just going to add these any old which way. In fact, I have an extra piece when I was done. Okay. Let's just do that. And add him there. Eh, we'll save him for another project. Okay, so now I am going to stamp and color the guitar from the Enjoy the Rhythm. And I'm gonna stamp it in basic gray. And I'm gonna use the Daffodil Delight Stampin' Blends. That's as close to crushed curry as we've got, and it, it works really well. Uh, let's see. And I'm just going to color lightly. I'm using the dark to go around the edge of the guitar. And I'm going to color whatever this is called. Chucky, help me out when you see this. Okay, now let's just color the whole thing. Makes it go faster. I just want to come in here carefully, like so, and then I'll color the inside with the light. Just like that. Okay, that's all we need those guys for. Now I'm going to get my two and three quarter inch circle punch which is across the room of course it is <laughs> oh why would it be where i need it love this punch I'm just gonna come in here just like so punch it out now i'm gonna add this did i put dimensionals nope just going to add him to the vellum and I want to make sure I get this guy on kind of at an angle so I'm just going to add him like this and then that's not very straight is it there we go there we go dun, 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 dun. now we'll add dimensionals And you just want to make sure they're within that circle so they don't show up through the vellum. I'm going to add him like so. And this is one of those pre-printed labels. And I'm only going to add dimensionals to one side so that it's, it lays flat over the guitar. But to make sure it's secure, I'll just add a little bit of adhesive. And just add him like that. Now we'll add some of those stars 
and lightning bolts. I'll put a big one here. Put a little one here. Let's add one more. There we go. Oh, we got to keep it um, odd, right? <laughs> okay, so there's the card front. I'm done with that. Now I did, ha here it is, I have a half inch by three and three quarters to go on my, uh, did I, I did. <laughs> I cut up my strip for the inside of the card. Oh, you know what I did? I punched it out on this. Way to go, Lore. Okay, so let me grab a piece. Wow. Bless her heart. Good thing the paper's just across the room. And I thought I was so ready for this. Oh well. Welcome to live. Okay, so I'm just going to cut a three and three quarter inch piece by five. Set everything aside. And then we'll add this to the inside. Bless her heart. She tries so hard. <laughs> uh, okay. I'll set that there. And then my inside says, thanks for being an icon. And that is from, oof, what a mess, the Rock and Roll Bundle Set. Okay. There we go. Well, you can sure tell I've been crafting on this side. All right, set that in here like so. And we are done. Such as it is. Let's clean up our mess so that you can see the two cards we created. Move that over, move that over. <laughs> All right. So, there's the first card. And there's our second card. I will probably just stamp something on the front of that other envelope later on. But, there we go. I'll take another look at my scrapbook layout of my honey. <laughs> uh, this is really a fun grouping of product. I love how everything coordinates with an annual catalog product, mini catalog, and an all-inclusive kit. I will have all of the product numbers with links to my online store and measurements for my projects in today's blog post. I thank you for stopping by and spending time with me at this odd time. We, if I ha I'm, I'm getting ready for my retreat, which is not this weekend, but the next weekend. And I'm not sure I'm going to have a live video next week. I know I won't have it, uh, what is that, March uh, 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th, 5th. I won't have it on the 5th because I'll still be recouping from the retreat. I may or may not have one next week. I'll keep you posted on that. I hope you all have a great rest of your week. And take some time for yourself and get inky. Talk to you later. Bye. Maybe. <laughs> uh, there's no... Uh, see, I'm using a new... Um, what do you call it? It's a, uh, there we go. It's an app to help me turn my phone sideways. There we go. All right. Talk to you later. Bye.